Preparations are underway for battle between Russian MiG-31 fighters and U.S. drones in the Black Sea. Recently, Moscow's defense minister has ordered the Russian army to develop measures to deal with what the ministry calls provocations from U.S. strategic drones operating over the Black Sea, saying they are increasing the risk of a direct confrontation between Russia and NATO. According to Russian military analyst Igor Korotchenko, U.S. strategic drones that fly over the Black Sea to collect intelligence data for Ukraine can be intercepted by MiG-31 jets or air defense systems. One should understand that with U.S. strategic aerial reconnaissance drones, the only, perhaps, adequate way to influence them will be to use MiG-31s, which will be able to pass in close proximity to them and have an impact that can either cause the UAV to fall or urgently return to the airfield it had departed from. However, such methods are rather exotic, as they require firstly the MiG-31 pilot to have great skills and secondly, theoretically, not to rule out such air incidents as a possible collision with an enemy drone, either due to piloting error or unreasonable actions of operators that remotely control the UAV, Parotchenko, who is also editor-in-chief of the National Defense Magazine, told TASS. He said the most effective way to fight such targets is to use long-range surface-to-air missile systems such as the S-400 or S-300V, which are armed with long-range SAMs, as well as use air-to-air -air missiles carried by MiG-31s. However, this requires an appropriate legal justification such as a special regime for the use of this segment of airspace or certain restrictions to be set by the Russian side, which could also preferably be based on an earlier precedent of a similar kind, the analyst said, or Russia will be forced to create such a precedent itself, said Korotchenko. According to earlier news reports, a US strategic reconnaissance drone RQ-4B Global Hawk patrols airspace over the Black Sea near Crimea. The Russian Foreign Ministry said in a statement that the Global Hawk was on duty over the Black Sea on June the 23rd when the Kiev, with the support of the US, attacked Sevastopol. The Black Sea has become one of the main theatres of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine, with Kyiv having multiple successes striking Russia's naval forces in the region. Any country can fly drones over the areas of the Black Sea designated international waters so long as they enter over the territorial waters of the country which gives its permission. NATO drones operating in such a manner are not breaking international law and do not enter Russian airspace. However, Russia claimed that such flights greatly increased the likelihood of incidents in the airspace with aircraft of the Russian Aerospace Forces, which increases the risk of direct confrontation between the alliance and the Russian Federation, adding that NATO countries will be responsible for this. Authorities have ordered more than 13,000 people to evacuate amid a fast-moving wildfire that broke out in Northern California. According to the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection, the Thompson Fire, which erupted near the city of Oroville in Butte County, has already consumed over 2,100 acres of land. The most dangerous fire was burning in Oroville. The fire is threatening about 230 structures in the area. Mandatory evacuations and evacuation warnings have been issued in part of Butte County due to the wildfire. Meanwhile, Oroville declared a local emergency, noting the fire is expected to continue to affect substantial geographic areas within the city for an unknown duration due to extremely high temperatures and high winds. The fire has caused and is substantially likely to cause extreme conditions, such as power outages, damage to infrastructure, burned trees, slope failures, and structural damage, said Oroville authorities. California Governor Gavin Newsom announced that the western U.S. state has secured federal assistance to support the response to the Thompson Fire. Much of Northern California remained under a red flag warning, an alert for extreme fire weather, as well as an excessive heat warning. The red flag alert warned of a combination of winds up to 30 miles per hour, low humidity and hot temperatures that can contribute to extreme fire behavior, according to the National Weather Service. At least four new fires ignited in the region, according to the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection.